Today, I want to introduce you to the newest member of the Ford Ranger family. That's right, I want to introduce you to our Tank Ranger. It's not going up very fast, but it's going up. I can't believe that. I can't believe that you lift the tank. Come on, baby, roll, roll, get off. You almost got it. All right, guys, here's the thing. We've got a Ford Ranger tank now. The Ford Ranger tank is really awesome while also having some major problems. For one, the front of it looks like it hit a Bigfoot, like traveling down the highway at night or something. Something's wrong with the front end of it. It's all messed up. And on top of that, it's powered by a 454 big block Chevy, which has these awesome headers that go straight up, right? Problem with that, whenever it rains, water gets into the exhaust and then locks the motor up and then the motor won't start, which is exactly what's wrong with this one. So I think step one, we pull that motor out, put a new motor in, see if we can make it run. Then if we can make it run and run over cars, then we'll fix the front end of it. Okay, I need tools. I need tools, crowbar, and a big hammer. Look at all this room we got for motorness. We can put any motor we want in this bad boy. For right now, we're just gonna put another big block back in it just to get it running and run over some cars, but... Oh no. That's always good when you got that inside your engine. Dude, these guys knew what they're doing. Look, they got an MSD distributor and a Holly carb. This thing must have ripped before it, you know, broke. Oh. Oh, oh. god damn. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. I think we have a little bit of a problem because see, this is our wiring for our radiator too. And the thing is, I th thought I was gonna have to cut it, but apparently I don't have to. <laughs> Uh, would you like a piece? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you're you. welcome. Would you like a piece? <laughs> Goodbye. You ever think about, like, as the editor, how often everybody's had to look at your ass crack? I wonder if Parker could put a counter on it. <laughs> Parker, how many times has it been? So here's what we got to happen. The fuel's unhooked. The radiator's unhooked. Motor mount's unhooked. Transmission's unhooked. So technically, if we get this chain hooked up, and then we get to yank it on it, it should come out of here. All right, pull on it and just get it out of here real quick. Oh wait, I need Dude, we could edit it. He just yank on it and then sit on the ground. I don't know if that's gonna reach far enough over to pull it out. What we need to do is get the bucket over the top of the bed of the Ranger, hook the chain up, make sure the chain's hooked up right that the engine and the transmission lift equally at the same time. Lift it up, slide it three feet back, set it back down, rehook the chain, and then lift it up enough that we can get it over the side of the bed and out of the truck. Alright, tilt back just a smidge! She wants to come out. Hey, Logan, right here. Keep going. Come on, baby. Oh, is that it? Problem is with this, right? Is we gotta lift this so insanely high to get this motor out of the back end of this thing. Here, let me get in there real quick. I'm just gonna try to shuttle the whole front of the tractor over. Well, we can't move the tractor anymore because we rolled the tire off the bead from all the weight on it. So that means we gotta move the tank out from underneath the engine. I don't know if the Duramax will pull that. <laughs> you know, Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Are we dead on it? It didn't really occur to me until now that I might have the craziest Ford Ranger collection in the world. But, I think this might pull that, I don't know. We'll see. The Ranger doesn't have enough pulling power to pull this, so we're gonna use the Ranger as like a weight. And I'm gonna try to use the winch on the front of that. Oh. Here, hold on, I'll get it. <laughs> this was really, really complicated to get an engine out. Let's just say that. But look! The engine's now sitting right there. So now the good news is, the bad engine is out. Now we just have to go get a good engine. Well guys, it's pretty, but I'm not sure it's gonna run. The thing is, this is the old motor out of Baloney, our burnout car, and we actually blew this motor up. But we put a couple gaskets in it, repainted it, and uh, she should be ready for some tank action. Oh, like a glove. It's a better instrument for lifting now. That's a big block installer. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's a big block. Okay, so now all I gotta do is I gotta get this into the Ranger without dropping it. I've never really dropped one before, except for like that one time. Now this is where we gotta be careful. I don't know if this will go high enough, we'll see. Come on, baby, keep going, keep going. Oh, that baby. might be high enough. Oh, it's so close. It is so freaking close. Dude, this is actually going well. Come forward, come forward. Did that work? Almost. Oh, oh, we're in business now. Well, hey, that went pretty good. We didn't even drop the motor and it's all in. So now all we gotta do is make it run. Here's the good news, right? The good news is the motor is in. The bad news is all of the wiring is older than life itself and none of it works. So now I can't get the fuel pump to work. We don't have no power to the coil. The only thing that we have that works is the water pump, which we'll use if we ever get the motor started. <laughs> Why are you sitting down there like that? To fix a tank, you must become one with the tank, you know? <laughs> so here's the news. Radiators ratchet strapped in, coils are hooked up, spark plug wires are hooked up, dip sticks in so no oil falls out of the motor, batteries hooked up, fuel pumps hooked up, but fired up. Come on, baby. Pump, 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 pump. The bad news is, for some reason, it sounds really bad. It's only running on seven cylinders, and the radiator we ratchet strapped in here is now leaking coolant everywhere. So we're gonna have to go to the junkyard, to Weston's junkyard, and see if we can find a different radiator to put in this bad boy. So we went to find a radiator, but I got a little sidetracked and decided the wreck front end of the Ranger just wasn't good enough. So I grabbed some parts from another Ranger I had, some sanding pads, some spray paint, and I got to work. And before I knew it, I think I pulled off the best paint job ever done. Well, in a field anyway. You know, honestly, that looks really good from over here. You know, for a field paint job though, that's pretty good. Give me a fancy set of wheels and a spray can, bam. SEMA rig. Guys, it is officially ready for our main boy. The big block is running good. It's taking us a while to make it run good, but it's running perfect. Now it's even move. Not exactly sure how to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I grab this handle, that should stop this track, and if I grab this handle, it should stop that track. And it should just be reverse neutral drive, just like a regular thing. But the problem is, it's got a Lexon window in the front of it, and uh, we can't see It's moving! For another 30 seconds. God dang, this thing is so much fun. Hey guys, I think I ran out of gas. <laughs> so here's the plan. We get more gas, and then we come back and we do more things with tank. Yes, very good plan. Oh, Dude, it's melting the paint off the motor. Man, I thought that was bad for a second. I thought it, I thought we burst into flames. Uh -oh. <laughs> Me and Logan got out of that cliff. We got out of there so quick. Well, guys, here's the thing, right? We got the tank cooled back down, and if you would believe it, somebody parked in the no parking zone. You can probably see where this is going. Dang it! 
I gotta get out and admire my tank to run over in this ability. I smashed them pretty good. So guys, if you ever have any cars that you need smashed, give me a holler and I'll go ahead and handle it for you. <sighs> Ooh, still cherry, look at that. Yes, insurance adjuster, we got a little hail. Don't worry guys, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Hold on, let me just go ahead and pop open the door. <laughs> oh, it's okay! Dude, how you doing little buddy? Was that scary? <laughs> what do you think of my parking job? Look at that, that's pretty good.